John, uh, handcuffs. Hold up, man.
They are not male, they ask me to read the show with you, and then they read the show. If they smart to male, they have been smart. In the first way of time. No, speak it easy. Speak it in the British. No. I'm not going to talk to you about this crime. You hear me? Frankie, come on. I tell you, you don't, you don't have to try to choose just there like in fucking street or pain. You hear me? Come on. Don't you thank you? Well, I'm afraid we will have to rest some of your bounces. Wow. If I didn't hear. The question of English is just trying, you know? You're a very big fit of a man for to have um, a child out knocking a table beat you up. The one you wouldn't do when I was here. Have you more sense, Frankie? Have you? Have you? Frankie. I 
Podemos ver, por ejemplo, que a lo mejor... I think you assume because your father paid over the money that the whole thing was forgotten about. Would that be right, Mr. McBrady? No reply. Again, Mr. McBrady, I must caution you that you're not obliged to say unless you wish to do so, but anything you do say will be taken down in writing and may be given evidence. Do you understand that caution? Frank. Frank, do you understand that caution? Frank. I must talk to you, Frank, about Eddie Moss's beating. And 30th of December, 96. Two o'clock in the morning, you were wearing a rusty coloured jumper. Do you remember that? Liam O'Donnell held him by the head and the neck. And two pit bouncers beat him unconscious. You assaulted the Matthew McCallion. Do you remember that, Frank? Easy sleep through it all, isn't it? Imagine being this in the face of the head. What 
matrimonial spoiled child, which are three spoiled child. Frank, were you and your father on the premises on the 30th of December 96, Monday morning at 2 a.m., when Eddie Moss was injured? No comment. Did you beat him senseless, Frank? Did you break his leg? Did your father pay 15,000 pounds sterling in my Ryan's office in Bally Buffet to have the case dropped, Frank? Do you realize that Mr. Moss intends going to court against you? Give evidence against you, Frank. You realize that your time has come, that the bluffing is all over, that we have several witnesses who saw you beating Mr. Moss, and on this occasion, Daddy can't do anything about it. Do you want to tell me, Frank, what happened that night? Had you any reason for beating him? Frank, did you have any reason to beat Eddie Moss and break his leg? Frank, 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 do you want to talk to me at all? I think I did. Which? Come on, Frank. Time for Betty House. Time to go back to the cell, Frank. Come on. Wakey, wakey's. Come on, sir. Oh, 
جونزن رو کاش کنه که آباده آباده سنتی قلی Did you beat Edward Moss that morning, Frank? Father pay over fifteen thousand pounds to Edward Moss on the fourteenth of the first nineteen ninety seven in an office in Bally Buffet. In order that he would stop proceedings. It's a very clear question, Frank. You're obviously aware of it. No answer. Very clear question, Frank. Are you aware that your father paid out fifteen thousand pounds cash in sterling? You were there, Frank. To Edward Moss to frustrate guard proceedings in the matter. Frank, you were there. Are you aware of whether you or Martin McCallion fractured Mr. Moss's right leg in two places? Do you remember that, Frank? 
and caused your mother serious injuries. Oh, yeah. You hear that, Frank? Do you remember that? No answer. Please, Alton. Any more questions you'd like to put in? Any more questions? We have much order on it, I see it. Right, Frank. Memo of interview with Frank F. Bertie Jr. Date of birth. What is your date of birth, Frank? Yeah, later on. 32-5-69. 32-5-69. 32-5-69. Right. Octolia Vineyard Folk County, Johnny Gall. Made it down at Teddy Gall Station on 4 June 27 at 9.45 p.m. Sergeant John White and Gall at Donald Dowd present. You've been cautioned that you're not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so, but anything you do say will be taken down in writing and may be given evidence. Do you understand this caution, Frank? Do you know what it means? No answer. Were you in Frankie's nightclub on 14 to 12 26? That was a Monday morning at 2 a.m. No answer. Did you see Edward Moss from Castle Derby on that morning? No answer. Did you beat Edward Moss that morning, Frank? No answer. Did your father pay over £15,000 to Edward Moss on the 14th to the 4th in an office in Ballet Buffet, in order that he would stop proceedings. No answer. It's a very clear question, Frank. Are you aware that your father paid out £15,000 cash and sterling to Edward Moss to frustrate out the proceedings in the matter? No answer. Are you aware that either you or Martin McCallion fractured Mr. Moss's right leg in two places on 30 to 12.26 at 2 a.m.? and caused him other serious injuries. No answer. Uh, are you aware that you're both yourself and Martin McCallion are amateur boxers? Regular fights? Is that correct, Frank? Seventy years experience. Seven or seven? Seven. Do you fight for rules to take one time fight? Hmm? Did you box for rules to take one time? Are you aware that both yourself and Martin McCallum are amateur boxers with regular fights with several years' experience in the boxing ring? No answer. Did you box for a monster title at one time, Frank? No answer, I presume. Yeah. Do you recall seeing me at one aim at the exit door on the 30th of the 12th, 96? And you stood inside the door. And I was sitting outside the door and it was all here. Do you recall that? At 1 a.m. approximately, 1.15 to be precise, on the 30th of the 12th. <coughs> Do you
to you. Is it correct, Frank? Is it correct, Frank? Do you wish to sign this now? You wish to sign it, right? You wish to sign it? No, I'm sorry. <coughs> Do you wish to sign it in a, an identification parade, Frank? In relation to the incident on Thursday, 26 at your father's nightclub? No answer, no more answer, Frank, of any kind. Have you anything to say at all, Frank, in relation to this? Now is your chance. Put it on record. <coughs> Have you anything to say in relation to this assault? <coughs> or indeed, about your arrest? Attention. Then you say what today? You're not going to say what today, are you, Frank? Uh, so, did you say that? Declined. Do you feel ashamed of your actions today? Do you? Why would you try to blame me for hitting you when I didn't, Frank? Huh? Isn't that a crazy thing to do? Well, I never had any disagreement with you in my life as a man, so I'm only here chatting to you about it. It's fairly serious, it's all right enough. It's, it's our job to do it, it's our job to interview you about that. 
Sorry about your trouble. I'm Neva, right? Right. Okay. Miss McCarthy, I'm Neva. And the new man taking over. Who's taking over? That's my woman here, was it? He killed. That's the member in charge there, Frank. He's going on. Where is he? So, okay, now, see you bye. And the best of luck. Right. You can hammer in yourself because the matches are on the eyes there, Frank. You know? You know, Frank, I do believe that you're ashamed of her today. You know? I know by your attitude now and your demeanor that you're ashamed of your outburst and your actions today. You just don't want to apologize to us. Do you want to apologize to straighten up the whole thing? Do you? Thank you. Do you want to apologize for telling lies about Gabriel Dowd? Did you ever do anything on you? Did you, Frank? Frank, did you? That's a rather serious thing to do to make a false complaint about him. Wouldn't you agree? Did I do anything wrong to you, Frank? Tell me. You know I didn't. I was around the fourth there for nearly two years, and as I says, you know, bad words sort of hurt me. Yeah, Frank. Why would you come along and make a false allegation against me? A very serious one. Did you bash it? Did you bash it off? Hmm? Why would you do that? You know, you know it's wrong. Hmm? Is it for the papers, Frank, is it? Is that your thinking? Is that what Daddy asked you to do, is it? Okay, let's go to another question now. Your father told me a couple of days ago that you were going for treatment to Dublin on the 8th of February. Is that true? You can talk to us, we're similar enough fellas here. Is it Frank? Is it true you want for treatment of some kind? There's another bump steer. Serious charges. Would that be the truth, but Well, Frank, do you want to go back to your cell or go home? What do you want to do? Or do you want to talk to us at all? Like, we'll investigate the Edward Moss complaint to the best we can do. The best we can do is talk to you, interview you, give you an opportunity to clear your name if you are innocent or if you think you're innocent of, of the alleged serious assault. And that's all we're doing, we're only, we're only doing our job at the end of the day. <coughs> you know that, Frank, don't you? If you can help us in any way as to what happened, if you weren't involved, if you claim you weren't involved, would you please tell us? Frank, would you? If somebody, if somebody else bashed this man up and broke his leg, would you tell us? Has Edward Moss anything against you? Has there any reason for telling lies about you? Has he?
Maybe I need to see you on the strike. Hmm? No? No, it's a theory in the soil. Can you have any explanation as to why you did what you did, like, you know? Frank. So fair few statements there, you know. Well, people say, in fact, they know you, that they saw you doing it. That's how you beat the man. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, have you any explanation to offer us at all, Howard? In any way? In any form? So you're guilty? Talk to you, too.